Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. As you guys know, yesterday I spent the entire day messing with this piece of junk, all right? And uh, honestly, I don't even think this still starts, you know what I mean? So as you know, I did an engine swap on this. However, it's still missing a bolt in here because um, drilled out two holes because there were, uh, the, the bolt had broken inside, so I had to drill them out. I hate drilling, I have terrible drill bits. And uh, I've just never been really successful at drilling. But I did finally get two holes in there. I stuck uh, one bolt in there. It was uh, really good. The other one, I had it in there really good. But of course, I was being greedy. So I wanted to impact it just a little bit more just to make it even more tighter. And what happens? That's right, I broke it again. So uh, this is only on two. So it's not really on there very well. Uh, I think I might have to... Uh, weld a bolt onto there and then use a nut, you know. <laughs> yes. I don't even know why I'm doing it, you know what I mean? And by the way, I still don't think it starts. Um, hey, shout out to my longtime subscriber, Tony Vento from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Shamil Shamazel. <laughs> he bought a sticker. Coming out to you today there, Tony. Thank you very much. Also, big, big shout out to my subscriber, Nate Wagner from St. James, Minnesota. He, uh, he asked me, if I sent you $40, will you go buy yourself a new vice, for God's sakes? And, you know, I have a vice, right? But it's the swivel part of it. I was banging it one day and the swivel part of it broke, you know? So it's just the vice. I guess I could put two bolts and mount it to the table over there, but you wouldn't be able to turn it in any direction, you know what I mean? So it's just like another hand holding your project or whatever. Uh, but uh, with the $40, I uh, went on eBay and I bought myself a four inch vise. It's color blue. I thought vices were always red, but it's blue. So that's kind of cool. It has the swivel and it, whatever. So uh, that was like $30.99. And so uh, I used the rest of the $40 for shipping because I'm sending him a little bit of a sampler box of Lucas Oil products. Uh, it's just for the uh, generosity that you've shown mowers and blowers. Thanks very much for supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, feel free. PayPal.me slash mowers and blowers. Or you could support the channel. Buy a sticker. All right, so look. We messed with the air channel in the primer bulb assembly for these Briggs Quantum engines, right? I mean, I think it works. This is another engine. Problem is, when it was running yesterday, I think this engine smokes too. Well, what do I get? I mean, uh, I got these junk engines, right? Well, why are they junk? Why are they thrown out? Why am I able to pick it up for free? Because it probably smokes. How about that? Okay, now that was kind of surprising. Like I said, sometimes you leave something overnight. The fuel wets a certain area, saturates a certain area, soaks a certain area where it might have been clogged, but now the soaking has gotten it clear. You just never know why, right? So sometimes when you leave something overnight, the gasoline soaks something, cleans something, whatever, and then it works. As you saw, cold start, primed it four or five times, started on the first pull. So I'm going to sell this for cheap, you know, maybe 80 bucks or something like that. Somebody wants to give me 50, I'll just sell it. I just want to get rid of it. I don't want to mess with it anymore, you know. Engine seems to stay on here very well. It doesn't vibrate or anything, so it's good to go uh, for somebody who just wants it as is, you know what I mean? But like I said, it runs, mows, and bags. You have to prime it every time you want to start it though, or either that or I didn't really run it that long.
So I've just spent another hour redrilling the hole. Finally got the third bolt through there. So engine is nicely mounted on here. Change the spark plug because the other one's kind of oily. I mean, not a new one, but better one. a little bit in the beginning but once you run it for about 30 seconds it starts running better probably sell it for like 50 bucks or something I've got these two that I need to uh, see if they work uh, which one should I use first I like the black one. Let's take that outside and see if I can get that to start. In the meantime, I have a guy who wants to buy this mulcher. I found this on the street not too long ago. It's an MTD. It's in decent shape. This has been sitting here since I found it. Uh, I didn't do anything to it but uh, start it up. <laughs> uh, put gas in it and start it up. Just primed it a couple of times. put this in my van probably get rid of this for like uh, 85 bucks at least that's what I have it listed we'll see if the guy will pay 85 doesn't run that great so I'm gonna put a little bit more fresh gas in here. This was an old tank from the uh, second um, engine, right? So I don't know how clean that gas tank was. But let's try to put a little bit of this deep clean fuel system cleaner from my friends over at Lucas Oil. Got very little in there, just so I'm just gonna drop just a little dash. Let it percolate in there. I might remove that bowl just to see if there's any debris in there. Desbris. And then uh, we'll try to start that one up. So here we go, uh, we're going to work on this one. This is a Franken mower. Uh, and begin to try to remove from, I don't remember. But um, I took the uh, self propulsion uh, transmission out the front because it was trashed. So it's just a simple push mower. I uh, blocked the hole with uh, some plastic thing and I siliconed the holes. People won't think it's a uh, self Uh, as you can see, these are Troy-built front wheels, right? Uh, the engine was off of another Craftsman uh, push mower, I think. I don't remember. Um, it didn't have handles, right? It was just a deck. Got the handles from many uh, other ones. This is my string, so the wheels are to be fixed. And I haven't started this in uh, the entire winter as well. No gas in here, and Earl is good. Really clear. So I'm going to put some gas and we'll see what happens. It's a primer. 
just like what we've been doing for the past two days, the quantum engine primer bolt. Alright, let's see. Let's see if it starts. What? That sounds great. Now that's, that's how the engine's supposed to sound like. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, that and this engine sounds great. RPM's a little high. Now the RPM is perfect. Just have to bend that little metal bracket. I'm gonna shine it up a little bit, take pictures. bringing this out because later when my wife comes back uh, she went shopping again when she comes back she's gonna block me in I'm never gonna get this out of the garage this is a 46 inch wide mowing deck so it won't fit through cars and between cars whatever it won't fit through my fences it's too wide so some nut wants to buy it um, he came to look at it yesterday he messaged me on let go after he saw it he goes uh, I want it, I'll take it. I have to rent a trailer to come get it. Uh, he's from St. James in Long Island. It's a lot of St. James, huh? Anyway, this is a nice tractor, man. I had it listed for $775, and then uh, he, he um, offered me $600, which I probably would have taken anyway, but I played that game like, oh, I don't know, you know, it's a really good tractor, you know what I'm saying? I've sold far less for much more, you know? And so I said, uh, but if you really like it, bro, I'll let it go for 650. And he goes, deal, 650. And I'm like, so it's just sitting here until he picks it up later. So this is my third victim today. It appears that there's a lot of moisture in here because I left it out for so long. I have a feeling it's got water in here. So before I put gas in here, I'm just gonna make sure. I'm gonna take this off, take the carburetor off and uh, see if we got gas. Uh, gas or water.
the wind was blowing. I wasn't paying attention. My whole camera blew down. Camera face down onto the concrete. So I'm using my uh, backup camera. It's also the same phone, Galaxy, um, Galaxy Edge, S7 Edge. And uh, it's exactly the same as the other one, but I have to transfer all files over to this phone. I don't know if it's gonna take all day, man. Uh, anyway, so I have to move that tractor back into the garage. The guy can't get a U-Haul. Uh, So today we got three of my push mowers uh, up and running. And of course I broke my phone too. I have to be busy all day transferring all my files into this phone that I'm using right now. But uh, that's it for today, man. Uh, I got maybe two or three more lawn mowers to go and then I'm gonna probably work on that uh, Toro hydrostatic um, wheel horse lawn tractor that I picked up last. Um, that's a 1638. HXL hydrostatic. Kind of looking forward to it. I believe that has a Vanguard engine in it, 16 horsepower. So that would be pretty cool. But uh, maybe another episode or two on push mowers just to get them going and get them out of here. You know what I mean? See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, John with Turning Wrenches, 85. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.